This program contains material of a disturbing nature. Viewer discretion is advised. Malaria is caused by a tiny parasite called plasmodium. Once inside the host body, the plasmodium parasite enters individual red blood cells. There, they multiply rapidly and eventually break the cell apart from within. And legions of new parasites re-enter the bloodstream and start the attack all over again. This cycle of destruction repeats every 48 hours. The reason that people who have the malaria parasite get these fevers that come and go is that the parasite spends part of its life cycle inside red blood cells where the body doesn't notice that it's there. And then when the parasite erupts out of the red blood cells into the bloodstream, the body mounts a huge response and that's when the fevers happen. The parasite is transmitted from host to host by an insect, the mosquito. When an infected mosquito bites a human, the parasites enter the bloodstream and travel to the liver where they reproduce. The new parasites then move back into the bloodstream and attack red blood cells. When a mosquito bites someone with malaria, the parasite enters the insect and the cycle starts again. Malaria is the most successful human parasite on Earth. Every year, it kills more people than any other kind of organism. One of the reasons malaria is so successful is that it has the ability to avoid anti-malarial drugs by hiding inside the liver. With modern medicine, you can kill the parasites in the blood and you can kill the parasites in the liver. But it's almost impossible to ever be certain that all the parasites are gone from the liver. Malaria is the deadliest parasitic disease on the planet. It causes nearly a million deaths a year. The disease is caused by a single-celled parasite called plasmodium. The malaria parasite invades the body's red blood cells, reproducing inside them until they explode and die. The dead blood cells then form clumps that block the body's blood vessels, starving its organs and tissues of oxygen eventually killing them. If a person's diagnosed in time and receives proper treatment, it's very possible to survive malaria. It's also preventable. When traveling in affected areas, taking anti-malaria drugs and sleeping under an insecticide-treated net dramatically reduce the risk of infection. Malaria is deadly because it destroys red blood cells and that prevents the body from getting oxygen to its organs. Malaria begins in the gut of a mosquito. When an infected mosquito bites a host, the parasites travel from the insect's saliva into the host's bloodstream. The parasites reproduce in the host's blood and internal organs. When an uninfected mosquito bites an infected host, the life cycle is complete. Infected mosquitoes thrive in warm, often tropical locations. Thousands of cases of people that have malaria receive treatment and think they're cured, but they have a relapse many years later and find out that all along they've been living with the parasite. Malaria is endemic in tropical regions across Africa, South America, and Asia. Between 350 and 500 million people are infected with the parasite worldwide. When traveling in affected regions, the best way to avoid infection is to always wear insect repellent. Use a mosquito net at night and take a full course of anti-malarial drugs. There is no question that malaria is the most deadly human parasite on Earth. It kills millions of people every year, and even the people that survive malaria may never be able to rid themselves of the parasite completely. When we think about the natural world, we often think about predator and prey relationships. But one could argue that the relationship between parasites and their hosts is even more common on Earth. And while some parasites kill their hosts, it's actually in the best interest of most parasites to keep their hosts alive. Some of the most successful parasites on Earth are so difficult to kill that once a host is infected, it's condemned to a life with a monster inside them. For more disgusting parasites and their stomach-churning habits, visit our website, animalplanet.com slash monstersinsideme.